Hi gang, it's Mrs. Young again. I have another activity to show you, something else that you could do this week to have fun with our worm theme. And it's pretty simple because there's only two materials needed. I'm gonna turn my camera around. On our Shutterfly site, I uploaded some pictures, one of which looks just like this. It's four worms, there's their head, there's their end. This can easily be printed off from our Shutterfly site by mom and dad. And then next to it, I have the word long because we're gonna be measuring how long each worm is using pennies. I figured that was something that everybody had at their house. We probably would have used blocks and Unifix cubes in our classroom, but I know everybody has pennies. So we're gonna use pennies today to measure our four worms to find out which one is shortest and which one is longest. Okay, I'm gonna do the first one with you. So you need to take your pennies and just cover your worm from beginning to end. Let's see, I think I'm almost done. I think I might need one more to cover his very end of the head. Okay, there we go. So then you need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then write your number here. Remember, make a circle, then a line. That's the way you make a nine. And you go on to the next one. Do you think this worm is going to be shorter or longer than this worm? And do you think it's going to be a number that's smaller or larger? Make sure when you get done with your paper to look and see which is the shortest and which is the longest. Take care, friends.